Let's just start in a comfortable seated position. All right, if you'd like to sit on a blanket or anything, a cushion, feel free to. Just bring your hands to your knees. And we're just gonna close our eyes and start with our breathing. So big inhale. And nice, long, long exhales. So just taking the first couple of minutes to focus on our breath. With each inhale, feel your belly rise with air. Maybe even pause a second or two here. And then slowly, slowly releasing all that air out. So maybe feel your body start to soften a little bit, the shoulders relax. And just starting to come into your place on your mat. So listen to your body for this next hour, doing what's right, what's best for you. I'll give different options on the poses and knowing that child's pose is always available. So a few more nice, deep, deep breaths here. Really long, long exhales. Let's do one more big inhale. And slowly, slowly releasing all that air out. And then opening your eyes. Let's inhale, reach those arms around and up. Clasp your hands, reach your palms up, inhale. As you exhale, bring those palms in front, stretching your upper back. Inhale back up. And as you exhale, let's turn to the right. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. So inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, slowly twist. Gradually come back around. Let's inhale, reach, reach up. Clasp your hands, reach your palms up, inhale. As you exhale, turn to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, slowly twist. Gradually come back around this inhale, reach, reach up. This time as you exhale, bring both palms in front, start to lengthen your spine. You can stay here, you can tiptoe those fingertips forward, releasing that heavy head, breathe here. And then let's walk both palms to the right. Just starting to lengthen that left side. Now you can stay here. You might take that left palm on top of that right, push that left hip back, get a nice side stretch. And come back to center. Let's walk both palms to the left. Lengthen on our right side, stay here. Maybe take that right palm on top of that left, push that right hip back, feel that nice side stretch here. And let's come back to center, tiptoe those fingertips back. From here, clasp your hands behind you, reach those arms back, pull your shoulder blades together, opening our chest. One more big breath here, inhale. Exhale, release, shake those shoulders out. <sighs> our hands and knees in our tabletop position. Our wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Just starting to warm up our spine with our cat cows. So as you inhale, arch your spine, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, all that air, release your head, rounding your spine. Once again, inhaling up and exhaling out. Good, nice big breaths here. Just moving with your pace. Really long, long exhales. Think about pulling those back all the way into your spine. Good. Few more breaths here. Let's do one more big inhale. Nice long, long rounding exhale. And then meeting back in tabletop, we're going to move into some side stretches. So inhale. Sure, so look up the part of the right, look over that left shoulder. Right, look over the left shoulder. 
Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the left. Look over that right shoulder. Inhale center. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale to the left. Back to center. Release to the right. One more time. Back to center. Release to the left. And then we'll meet back in tabletop. Let's try our spinal balance. So take your left arm and right leg out. So those toes can stay on the ground or they can come up either one, wherever you are. Reach your fingertips out. You reach it right leg behind you. Lengthen here. Breathe here. Now you can stay right here or you might grab that back foot, push that foot, your palm. Nice. Look over that left shoulder, get a little twist. And releasing back to tabletop. All right, let's take our right arm and left leg out. Reach, reach out here, lengthen out. Reach those fingertips out. Perfect. You should reach that left leg behind you for a spinal balance here. One more breath, inhale. As you exhale, grab that back foot maybe or stay right where you are. Maybe look over that right shoulder. We'll be back in tabletop. So we're going to move into a little flow here, eventually ending in down dog. So as you inhale, arch your spine, lift your chest up in our cow pose. As you exhale, sit back on those heels for one more, lengthen back. Now inhale, back up, arch in our spine, and we're going to exhale to down dog. All right, we're going to do that same thing again. So come down your knees. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale up, exhale to down dog. Once again on our knees, inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale up, exhale to down dog. Three more rounds. You can come on your knees or you can come into your plank and slowly come down. Inhale up. And rolling back to down dog. So two more rounds, either on your knees or in your plank. Either one, your choice. Your choice here, perfect. Good. One more round here. All right, when you're in your last down dog, let's walk this dog out. Bend one leg, then the other, back and forth, stretching those legs out. Move it with your breath at your pace here. And then let's bring those heels to steel. Let's reach, reach those heels back for one more big breath. Inhale. Exhale all that air out. Let's walk all the way up to the top of our mat. So as you inhale, look up with a flat back. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, reach those arms around and up, lift, lift up. Grab that left wrist, slowly release to the right, gradually lengthen our left side. Back to center, grab your right wrist, release to the left, gradually lengthen our right side. Inhale, back up. We're going to move to a forward fold. Maybe start the little bend in your knees and gradually let your body cascade down. And just hang loop here like a rag doll. You move back and forth, releasing that lower back. Let those arms just dangle at that heavy head hang here. And if you want, you can hold your elbows. Picture frame your face. Maybe nod your head up and down like you're saying yes. Back and forth like you're saying no. And releasing our elbows, let's bring our palms together. So starting with a little bend in your knees, as you inhale, reach those fingertips up to the sky. Exhale back with a little back bend. Inhale, back up. And let's exhale our hands to prayer. 
And then releasing our arms, come out to dust our mountain pose. So grounding your weight here, relaxing those shoulders. Couple of nice deep breaths. One more inhale. And exhale. Audience, inhale, reach those arms to round it up. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, look up with a flat back. As you exhale, bring that left foot back. Move back into our runner's lunge. So keep that right foot ground as you reach that left heel back with a nice stretch here. All right, one more breath, inhale. As you exhale, bring that right arm up. Open up, maybe with those right fingertips. And then release down, drop that back knee, turn your toes, just let that right knee stand forward. Feel that stretch down the back of our leg. Breathe here. And then walk those hands back. Bring your left hand inside your right foot. We're gonna take that right hand and grab that left foot. Move, maybe a little twist, just push that foot in your hand, but twist open here. You can even let that right knee fall to the side. Come on, that right side of your foot. Feel that lift. And release down. And then let's just straighten that right leg. Either point those toes or flex that foot. Feel a stretch here. And then walk those hands forward. Let's come back on both knees. Hands at top of the mat. We'll meet in down dog. One breath here. Inhale. Exhale all that air out. Let's walk all the way up to the top of our mat. Then as you inhale, reach those arms around it up, lift, lift up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, look up with a flat back. Exhale, bring your right foot back into our runner's lunge. Left foot stays grounded. You reach it right heel back. Nice stretch here. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale your left arm up, open up here. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, drop that hand down. Come on your back knee, turn your toes. Let that left knee extend forward here. This is one pose we can let that knee extend over our toes. Breathe here. Then walk those hands back. Now bring your right hand inside your left foot. Bring that left hand to your right foot. Maybe turn, twist, really twist here. You can even get that left knee off the side here. Breathe here. And releasing down, let's straighten that left leg. Get to point those toes or flex that foot here. Walking those hands forward. Let's slide that left knee back, back on both knees, hands at top of the mat. We'll meet back and down dog, stretch back here. One breath here, inhale. Exhale all that air out. Let's walk all the way up to the top of our mat. And as you inhale, reach those arms around and up, lift, lift up. And exhale by your side. A couple of nice deep grounding breaths here. All right, from here, we're going through our first vinyasa, or ride to down dog. As you inhale, reach your arms around and up. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, look up with a flat back. Exhale, step back into your plank. Your vinyasa, or ride to down dog. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. From here, let's inhale our right leg up. Reach it up to the sky. And you exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale back up. This time, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back up high. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale back up. And we're going to exhale our right foot forward in our crescent lunge. So you can come on that back knee in a low lunge or up on those toes. Wherever you are, front knee over your ankle, reach those fingertips up, lift, lift those fingertips up here. Breathe here, nice, good. Think about length in your spine as you reach those arms up. 
All right, we're gonna move into a little chest opener here. Inhale, and you're still bring those arms out. Pull those shoulder blades together. Open your chest. And as you exhale, we're just gonna round our arms. So the pinky fingers are touching as you bring your arms together. Now inhale, open back up. Exhale everything in. Inhale back out. Pull everything to center, pulling those abdominals in. Inhale back out. Exhale in, and then bring your hands to prayer. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Move into your prayer twist here. And you could stay here, you could open up. You want to bring one arm down, one arm up. Your choice. Bring that right hand down now. Take your left hand to the center of the mat. We're going to move to a side plank on the left side. So you could swing that right foot back or just come on that left knee. Foot behind you. Bring that right leg behind you. Reach that arm up. Lots of choices here. You could stay right here on that knee. You can bring that right leg up. Or you can come into a full side plank. It's up to you. Up to you here. Good. I'm going to move here. Inhale. As you exhale for one breath, bring that right arm under your left. Now inhale, reach, reach back up. Exhale under. Inhale, lift up. Exhale under. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale under. Come on both knees and thread the needle. Right arm comes under left. Rest on that right side of your head. That left hand can stay on the floor here. You can bring it up. You can bring it behind you, open that shoulder. If you want to work on your balance, you can even bring that left leg up. It's up to you here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can just play around. Yes. That's what's the great thing. Nobody's going to see us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's meet back at center. Bring our hands to the top of the mat. Either go to down dog or come into a plank and go through your vinyasa. It's up to you. When you're ready, we'll move downward facing dog. All right, from here, let's inhale our left leg up. Reach it up high. As you exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale back up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale up high. Let's exhale our crescent lunge. Left foot forward. On our back toes, reach those fingertips up. Lengthen your spine. Reach as high as you can here. Breathe here. One more big breath. Inhale. Check out, come into those cactus arms, bring those arms out, pull those shoulder blades together. Exhale, let's round everything in. Inhale, back up. And exhale, everything to center. Pull those abdominals in, everything in. Inhale, open up. Exhale, everything in. One more time. Inhale, reach, reach out. Exhale to center. Hands to prayer for one breath. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Move into your twist here. Twisting from our lower back, from our core. Stay here or open up here, either one. Your choice. And release that top arm down. Bring that right hand to the center of the mat. Maybe drop that back knee. Bring that right foot behind you. Extend your left leg out for your side plank. Choices once again here. Stay here. Bring that left leg up or come into a full side plank. It's up to you, wherever you are. Keep those hips lifted, keep that left arm up. Breathe here. One more big breath, we're gonna move here. Inhale, exhale, left arm under right, one breath. Inhale, open back up, lift, lift up. Exhale under. Inhaling, reach, reach up high. Exhale under. One more time. Inhale, reach, reach up. 
Exhale, under and thread the needle here. Back on both knees, left arm under right, and just play here. Go where you want to go. Maybe bring that hand up. Maybe behind you. Maybe bring that right leg up. Let's see where you want to go. That's it. Your practice. Just play with it. Good. Nice. One more breath, inhale, let's exhale back to tabletop. All right, hands atop the mat, step back to your plank, go through your vinyasa, ride to down dog. Are you ready? We'll all meet downward facing dog. From here, let's inhale our right leg up, reach it up. As you exhale, bend your knee, let your foot fall to the left. Keep that right knee lifted, lifted high, opening our hip. Inhale back up as you exhale, bring your right foot forward. This time we'll meet in warrior one. Sweeping those arms and rounding up. Front knee over our ankle. Reaching those fingertips up here also. Spread those fingers out, strong hands, arms. All right, we're gonna move a little bit here. Come to a little chest owner. So inhale, reach up. As you exhale, I'm just gonna round my spine, release everything down, release those arms down. As you inhale, reach those arms around behind you. Open your chest as you reach, reach up to the sky. Oh, nice long exhale down. Inhale, reach around and up. Lift everything up. Exhale everything down. One more time. Inhale, reach, reach up high. Exhale, release down. And we're just going to clasp those hands behind us and meet in humble warrior. Let that head release to our knee as you bring those arms up, opening our chest here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, hands to top the mat. Let's meet in standing splits. Kick that left leg up. Bring that leg up. Maybe try to bring one hand to your leg. Work on your balance if you'd like to play with it. One more breath here. Inhale, lift up. We're going to exhale, bring that left foot to meet your right. We're going to meet in chair. So maybe bring those toes together, leave some space between your heels, but you want your weight back in your heels as you bend your knees, bring those arms up, breathe here, good. Hands to prayer for one breath, inhale, exhale, twist to the right, moving your prayer twist, that elbow's gonna come in between your knees, outside that right knee. Try to keep those knees together, breathing here. Stay here, open up here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale to center, bring your feet about hip level apart. So bend in your knees as much as you need to. Take your first two fingers, grab your big toes. As you inhale, lengthen, as you exhale, step on those fingers, release that heavy head. Maybe begin to straighten your legs, breathing here, just pulling yourself down to the earth here. One more breath here, inhale. As you exhale, release those fingers, bring a little bend your knees, slowly, slowly roll up here. One vertebrae at a time. Hmm. All right, from here, we're gonna sit up for tree on our right side. Maybe pick up those right toes, set a good foundation. Find your drift to your gaze. And when you're ready, that left toe can come to your ankle, your shin, your thigh. Hands to prayer. Nice, steady breaths here. Just breathe. Focus this is so good for our focus, our concentration. Stay here. Maybe bring those arms up like a tall, tall tree. And then see if you can move to warrior three. Keep that right leg grounded. Just let your body pivot here. Reach those arms out as that left leg comes behind you. Keep that focus.
Then go meet in a lunge. Just lift that left foot back as you reach those arms up. Awesome job, Doug. Reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to top the mat. Step back to your plank. Go through your vinyasa. Ride to down dog. Ride to down dog. From here, let's inhale our left leg up. Reach it up high. Make sure you your knee. Let your foot fall to the right. Keep that left knee lifted, lifted high. Open in our hip. Come back up as you exhale. Bring your left foot forward. Sweep those arms up for Warrior One. Plant that back foot down as you reach those arms up high here. Lift, lift up to the sky here. Maybe even arch your spine as you reach, reach up high. I'm going to move here. Inhale. As you exhale, release everything down. As you inhale, reach those arms to round it up. Lift, lift up. So open your chest as much as you can as you reach, reach up. And exhale, release down. Inhale. Open up, round it up here. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale, reach, reach up high. Lift, lift up. Exhale, release down. Once again, clasp your hands behind you. Move it into our humble warrior. Just letting that head release down as you bring those arms up here. Breathe here. Breathe the top for one more breath. Inhale. Let's exhale to standing splits. Hands at top of the mat. Keep that right leg up. Lift, lift up to the sky. Maybe work on your balance, maybe not. Try to keep that right leg lifted high. Lift up for one more breath. Inhale. Let's exhale in our second chair, bringing those toes together. Sitting back on our heels, maybe sitting a little lower the second time. Keep breathing here. Just be sure you still see your toes. Don't let your knees extend over your toes here. All right, hands to prayer for one breath here. Inhale, exhale. We're going to twist to the left. Keep those knees together as you move into our prayer twisting. Once again, stay right here or open up here. Your choice. One more big breath. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Once again, bring those feet about hip level apart. So either grabbing your big toes or sliding that whole palm under your foot for a nice wrist stretch. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to here. As you inhale, lengthen as you exhale, step on those fingers or those hands. Once again, release that heavy head and breathe. Just breathe here. Hmm. One more big breath, inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Once again, bring a little bend your knees. Very, very slowly roll up here, letting your head be the last thing. And then we're gonna ground our weight on our left foot, setting up for our tree on our left side. Bond in our just your gaze. Think about engaging your core. Use your little bond to strength. That strong core helps so much of their balance. So when you're ready, move it into your tree. Stay in here or growing those arms up to a tall tree. All right, engage that core so you can slowly move to warrior three. Steady, steady breaths. Get that left leg grounded. As you let your body pivot here, reach those fingertips out. Reach that right leg behind you. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, back to our lunge. Arms up. Hands at top the mat, step back to your plank, go through your vinyasa, or ride to down dog. When you're ready, we'll all meet in downward facing dog.
All right, from here, let's inhale our right leg up, reach it up. It should still bend your knee, let your foot fall to the left, and you can stay here or flip your dog. You want to bring that right leg down. Keep those hips lifted or stay right where you are, either one. Nice, good. Keep those hips lifted here. Bring that right hand down gracefully, flip back over, reach that right leg back up. And you should still bring your right foot forward. Let's move back into warrior one. Sweep those arms and round it up. Lift, lift up. One breath here, inhale. We're gonna exhale to warrior two. So just that back foot towards the center of the mat. Reach those arms out here, front knee still, right ankle. Look it up with that strong right middle finger. One more breath, inhale. Let's exhale to peaceful warrior. Drop that back hand down. Right arm comes up and over into looking up or looking down here. Lengthen in that right side. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm comes down. Left arm reaches up and over. So reach those fingertips towards you. Push on that left heel. Feel that stretch all the way down the left side of your body. And I'm gonna give you choices here. You can stay right here. You can bring that left arm behind you. You can come into bind. If you want to do that right arm under left arm, if you want to move your birds to paradise, you know, you're welcome to go there. Your choice. Nice. One more breath here, inhale. Let's exhale back to warrior two. All right, we're one breath here, inhale. We're gonna exhale a triangle, straighten that front leg, reach, reach that right arm out. Slowly bring our right arm down, left arm up. Look at those left fingertips, open up here. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. And releasing those arms down, we're gonna to come to wide stance. So toes pointed forward or pigeon toed in. Hands on our hips. As you inhale, arch your spine, look up. Exhale, slowly, slowly. Begin to lengthen over here. So start with the flat back. Then you can gradually round that spine if you'd like, release that head down. Maybe walk those hands back, release that heavy head. Just the gravity gradually bring you down here. Feel that nice stretch in our legs. Breathe here. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, hands back to center, bring a little bend to your knees. Slowly, slowly roll up here. Letting your head be the last thing. Then turn that right foot forward. We're just gonna step back to a plank, go through our vinyasa right to down dog. Just change the sides here. So however you want to get there, on the downward facing dog. All right, as you inhale, reach that left leg up. And as you exhale, bend your knee, let your foot fall to the right. Stay here, flip your dog. Ready, flip dog, keep those hips lifted high. Reach that left arm up. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, flip back over. If you flipped your dog, left leg back up. Let's go bring it forward. Sweep those arms up for warrior one. Reach those fingertips up. One breath here. Inhale. Flex out of warrior two. So just that back foot towards the center of the room. Front knee bent over ankle. Reach those arms out here. Reach, reach those fingertips out. You push on both feet here. Strong arms and legs here. One more breath, inhale. Let's exhale to peaceful warrior, drop that back hand. Left arm comes up and over, either looking up or looking down here. Mm -hmm. 
One more breath, inhale, let's exhale to extended side angle. Left forearm releases down as you reach that right arm up and over. Reach those fingertips forward as you push on that right heel. That nice stretch here. And then go where you want to go here. You can stay here. You bring that right arm behind you. You can even bring both arms out. You come into your bind, just wherever you want to go. Your choice here. Your choice. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. One breath here, inhale. Well, like set a triangle, straighten that front leg, reach, reach that left arm out. Slowly bring our left arm down, right arm up, look at those right fingertips open up here. And breathe, breathe here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. Hands to top the mat, step back to your plank, go through one more vinyasa. Right to down dog or right to child's pose. Whenever you're ready, we're going to bring our knees to the edge of the mat and beat back in child's pose. And once you're in your child's pose, just breathe. Just think about that nice deep breath. Big inhales. Nice, long, long exhales. Letting those hips sink down to the floor here. A few more breaths here. Right, let's take one more breath here, inhale. I should say we're going to be back in down dog just so we can transition into a squat. So just bring us heels back, reach those hips up. All right, one breath here, inhale. You should exhale, bring your left foot halfway up the mat, edge of the mat, right foot to the other edge of the mat. Come forward, sit in your squat. Bring your hands to prayer here. You can close your eyes and just breathe. It's just such a great hip opener. A wonderful pose for digestion. Just come back to your breath. Feeling those hips, hips open, sink down a little more with each exhale. Now I'm gonna give you a choice here. You can stay here if you want to play with crow. Your arm balance. You can bring your arms, palms on the mat. So my elbows are, my knees are right above my elbow here. Maybe bring one leg up, maybe both legs. It's up to you or stay where you are. You're just playing today. Good. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to meet back at down dog so we can move into pigeon. So if you're okay with pigeon, come to down dog. If you'd rather do reclining pigeon, you're certainly welcome to come on your back here. All right, from down dog, let's inhale our right leg up. Reach it up. Should so bring your right foot, right knee forward. Now, if you'd like to put anything under that right hip, a blanket or pillow or anything for cushioning, you're certainly welcome to. So we're going to move into this slowly. Bring your fingertips outside the mat. We've moved a little flow here. So as you inhale, lift your chest, arch your spine, look up. As you exhale for one breath, round your spine down. We'll slowly release that head. Once again, inhale, slowly, slowly come up. Let your head be the last thing. And as you exhale, release down. Last time, inhale, lift, lift up. This time as you exhale, let your whole body cascade down. So letting your head release to the mat, to your arms, wherever you want to go here and just breathe. Just breathe here. Just letting those hips release, soften with each exhale. Letting any tension we carry in our hips, just let it melt away here. Like I said, just breathe. Just breathe.
few more nice deep, deep breaths here. Take one more big breath, inhale. As you exhale, walk those hands back, lift your chest, lengthen up here. Now you can stay here. You can take that left hand, grab that left foot if you'd like. Maybe bring that right arm up. It's up to you, wherever you want to go. And then maybe releasing down. One more breath, inhale. Now, so I'm gonna to move to a twist. So I'm just gonna take that left foot, cross that right knee. And we're gonna to twist to the left. Left arm comes up and around, either hugging our knee or elbow outside our knee as you inhale, lengthen, lengthen up. And as you exhale, slowly begin to twist. Once again, inhale up and exhale, twist. A couple more breaths here. All right, after your last exhale, slowly come back around. Pick up that left leg, that right leg, stretch those legs up. We're gonna move into a little back bend. I'm gonna give you two choices. So bring your hands behind you, fingertips facing forward. You can just release back to a nice back bend, let those shoulders cradle your neck, or you can lift your hips from here and come into a reverse plank. It's up to you here. Breathing here, wherever you are here, good. One more breath, inhale, exhale slowly, let's all come down, come back to center. And then I'm just gonna cross my legs, we're gonna meet back and down dog, just so we can move to the other side. So walking those knees back. When you're ready, lift your hips up here, stretch back. All right, from here, let's inhale our left leg up, reach it up high. It's just to bring your left knee, left foot forward, Setting up for our pigeon here, using any props you'd like here. And we're bringing our fingertips outside the mat. As you inhale, lift your chest, look up, get a nice throat opening. Exhale, bend those elbows gradually, let your body cascade down. Once again, inhale back up, nice fluid movement in our spine. Exhale, release down. Last time, inhale, come, come up. And as you exhale, let your whole body cascade down. And once again, just breathe, just breathe. Just let those hips soft with each exhale. Few more nice deep, deep breaths here. Let's take one more big inhale. Exhale all that air out slowly. Walk those hands back, lift your chest up here. And stay here, maybe grab that back foot, maybe bring that left arm up, it's up to you. And 
gonna be releasing down. Let's move into our twist here. So bringing our right foot across our left knee, twisting to the right, so right arm comes up and around, either hug that knee or elbow outside our knee. As you inhale, lengthen, lengthen up. Then there's a string pulling you all the way up to the ceiling, and as you exhale, slowly twist. Once again, inhale up, and exhale, twist. A couple more breaths here. And after your last exhale, slowly come back around. So we're gonna unwind our legs, but keeping our knees bent, feet on the mat, we're gonna set up for one boat here. So grounding our weight on our sit bones, engaging your core, bring your arms up. Now you can stay here, you can bring up one leg at a time or both legs. Keep breathing wherever you are, building that strong core. Nice big breaths here, good. One more big breath, inhale, exhale, hug those knees in, lengthen your spine, a couple breaths here. Hmm. And then let's just stretch those legs out, move into staff pose. So, grounded our weight on our sit bones, hands by your hips, flex your feet, really engage your legs here. As you inhale, reach those arms up, lift, lift up. As you exhale, let's move our forward bones. So start to lengthen, lengthen forward, the flat back. So reach, reach your arms out as far as you can. And then slowly round your spine, release down and breathe here. Bring in your hands to your legs, your ankles, your feet. Just wherever, breathe here. One more breath, inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. So we're gonna do a little core work here as we come down to our mat. So see how slowly you come down today? Just engage your core, slowly, slowly, slowly. Let your body gradually ground down. And then release down here, take a nice big breath here. And then bend your knees. We're gonna set up for bridge. So feet about hip level apart. Maybe fingertips grazing those heels. Whenever you're ready, as you inhale, reach those hips up. Lift, lift up. So push on those feet. You can keep those palms on the mat or clasp your hands under your back. Maybe shimmy your shoulders under, getting a little more lift. So reach, reach those hips up. Push those shoulder blades in the mat. Get a nice chest opening, strengthen in our lower, our whole back of our body actually. Breathe here. Think of up on your toes, inhale up. As you exhale, slowly, slowly come down. Bring your feet to the edge of the mat, let your knees fall to center. Just a couple of deep draws and breaths. You can breathe in toy and bring those arms out to a T. And then bring your feet back to center. We're going to come into eagle legs for a twist today. So bring that right leg across your left. Maybe pick up your hips, move it to the right a little bit. Let those legs fall over to the left. Look over that right shoulder. You might even take that left hand to that right thigh and just making that nudge and that knee over, nudging that leg over, just deepening that twist a little bit. To me, that feels good. And then on your next exhale, slowly come back to center. Let's unwind those legs. Take that left leg across your right. Maybe move those hips to the left. Let those legs fall over to the right. Look up that left shoulder. Maybe use that right hand and nudge that leg over. On your next exhale, come back to center. This time, unwind those legs, stretch those legs and arms out. Reach your fingertips and toes up for one big breath. Inhale, 
We should still bring that right knee in. So hug that knee into your chest, push that lower back into the mat as you breathe here. And then release, stretch back out. Inhale, reach those fingers and toes out. As you exhale, bring that left knee in, hug that knee in, breathe here. Inhale, reach, reach back out, stretch, stretch out. This time as you exhale, bring both knees in, hug those knees in, make a roll around your lower back, massaging that lower back. And then let's come into happy baby. Bring those feet up, grab the outside of those feet. Maybe roll back and forth here, maybe not. Opening those hips, breathe here. And then releasing those feet. We're just going to set up for our Shavasana. Final resting pose, relaxing those legs here. Let those feet flop out, arms by your side, palms up. Just close your eyes here. And letting your whole body completely relax. So feel your eyes soften, your cheeks, your jaws relax. Release your shoulders, your elbows, your wrist, down to your fingertips, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your ankles, down to the tips of your toes. And just breathe, just breathe.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, just gradually awaken in our bodies. And then inhale your arms above your head for a long body stretch. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. and gradually make your way to one side. Then keeping your eyes closed, using your arms to support yourself, we'll just slowly bring ourselves back to a comfortable seated position. <laughs> Taking a few nice deep breaths here. Slowly bringing our awareness back, gradually coming back into our day. And thank both of you all for taking the time to spend with me this evening. I wish you good health. Hope you all stay healthy and well. Take care and wishing you all the very best. Ends to prayer at Heart Center. Namaste.